Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the AI analyst and take most advantage of the smartest AI spreadsheet in the world. I'm going to show you the three most popular ways of using the analyst with examples for each. So the first thing that you can do with the analyst is to extract information from documents. So outside of importing just Excel files or CSVs, you can also import things like PDFs, images, receipts, etc. that are likely into rows. So in, as an example, if you're a finance manager, you can, for example, upload in bulk receipts, photos of contracts, etc., into a table and give it instructions. So in this example, I'm going to say extract the supplier name, invoice, date, and total amount. But obviously you can instruct it however you want. And this is a really powerful way for finance teams, operations teams to extract data from their documents at scale and then have them in a spreadsheet ready to analyze, to share it with someone, to put it in an external system and just do it really easily. So you see here, it already exported the data from the different invoices. Now I can choose to append more documents or add new spreadsheets with it, but it's really a big automation engine for finance and uh, operations teams. Okay? The second is classic data analysis, right? So Rose is the smartest AI spreadsheet, and this means that you can take any type of file, a CSV or an Excel file here, let me, we're gonna put one, and you can basically automate all of your spreadsheet work. And this means things from like styling, so I can say free spans, I can ask it to add columns, to format, to create any element in the spreadsheet. So here an example, it just formatted with free span, I can say add a column with profit. And it has this smart two-tier system where really simple, uh, tasks, it will do re really fast, right? It might take four, five, six, ten seconds. But if it is a more complex operation, it might take one or two minutes for the agent to do it, and that is fine. Right? So here it already added a column. Everything reverts back to spreadsheet formulas. So you still keep the versatility of using it in a spreadsheet. And you can use all of the elements that spreadsheets allow you to. So you can add pivot tables, you can add charts, you can add text boxes, and you can basically do anything from a VLOOKUP to a complex forecasting model. In this example, example, I ask it to create a financial model for a food truck, and I just want to show you the type of things that it can do. So we created an assumptions table with a bunch of financial model assumptions. He created an overview of the KPIs per year. He created a series of charts. And then to create the actual engine, you see here all of the KPIs per year, it actually created a Python script. So again, everything is editable by you and your team. So you can see here the Python script that he created on the fly in one prompt. So it really merges the intelligence of ChatGPT and a powerful notebook with a spreadsheet-like interface where you can use all of your formulas that you already know from Excel. And of course, as everything is compatible with Excel and CSVs, you can basically import and export the data as you want. The third really special way of using Rose AI is together with the integrations. So Rose has more than 50 integrations from different data sources, and you can already use some of them directly inside the analyst. So let's say that I'm a marketing manager and I, would, I want to pull together a quick report or an analysis on my website traffic. I can just ask, pull from Google Analytics for the website traffic from the last... 90 days and compare with the previous. And you will basically understand what source do we need to pull data from? Is this already connected or not? Do I need your credentials? What formula do I use? What are the rate KPIs? And it will do this work for you. And then it will pull together the report and then obviously we can edit, automate it, etc. So we can see that it already connected to GA4 and it's asking me which account property to use. I will use one from my personal book review website and now it will do the connection, pull the data and create the tables for us and give us the visualizations that we asked for. So here we are. It already gave us a table with traffic per day. So you can see here the first period and the second period of comparison, total users, users in the second period, and the difference between them, and a bunch of other statistics, session duration, etc. So a good traffic overview of these last two periods. And now you can see that it is connected to Google Analytics, which means that then I can take advantage of the other features of Rose, so for example, scheduling a refresh, 
creating a dashboard from it. I can ask it to create the charts, extend this visualization, and basically created a rich analysis directly connected to my data sources. One, And the really interesting thing about it is that at the end of the day, if I have repetitive workflows, I can also automate them. So one of the cool things that we develop is this idea of repel, replace, which are exact essentially saving a series of prompts and then rerunning them so that if you have cleanup tasks or a report that you have to run every day or every week, you can just save a sequence of prompts and then ask the AI to rerun it for you on any file and it will do it. And this is it. So this is the most powerful AI spreadsheet in the world, the fastest way for you to do flexible analysis, get into fast decisions, extract documents at scale, connect to more than 50 data sources and use the AI to do it for you and basically leverage an AI analyst that can do anything from a VLOOKUP to a really complex Python forecasting model. Enjoy.